Max Baer and Eleanor McClatchy, my goodness, what an unlikely pairing of personalities. Max Baer started out in the Sacramento community uh, as a boxer. He was managed by uh, uh, a boxing manager, promoter, and uh, political figure by the name of Ansel Hoffman. And his career uh, was quite extraordinary. He, he went out and became a, a really big time heavyweight. Uh, there was a movie done about him, a couple of movies been done about him, and, and they really don't do justice to him. He really was an extraordinarily kind person. He, uh, in his later years, after his boxing career was over, which is how he met up with Eleanor, uh, she had covered one of his fights probably her only effort at reporting and and truly extraordinary you know it's it, no no sport page would ever have a column like it you know the 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 wonderful handsome dashing bear smashes the brute you know i mean it's it was headlines something like that max uh, uh went to work for her and uh, he played the role of promotions person. Uh, he went to public events. He was a personality on the radio show. Um, but what's really extraordinary is he used to wander around town before he'd go to work, and uh, people would follow him and ask him for a handout. He'd give everybody money. He was quite a generous person. If you were downtown and you looked like you were down and out, Max would make sure you had a meal. You know, he went by. He also was great with children. They'd just hang around him like crazy. They just loved his, his, uh, his, his actions. But there is a really interesting story about Max and Eleanor. He would occasionally drive for her. Now, whether this story is really true or not, it's kind of hard to tell because there's always some myth builds up around people like uh, her and him. But supposedly he was taking her to San Francisco. It might have actually been the opening of the bridge at Carquinas. And they're driving down the road, and with, with Max in the car happened to be Primo Carrara, according to the story, who was one of the, one of the major figures that he, he fought. They're both huge people. Somebody cut them off on the road. And, um, or maybe they cut off somebody. It's kind of hard to tell. But at any rate, they pulled over. The other guy pulled over, jumped out of the car, and, and comes storming over their way like he, you know, really wants to have a, a, an altercation, so to speak. And the doors opened on both sides of the car. Out one side comes uh, Bear, and the other side comes Primo. They're both way over six feet tall. They're huge, big boxers. And according to the story, and as I understand it, Eleanor used to say, and the guy looked at him and just got back in the car and left. That was the end of the story.